and going to <laughs> finding the hood club so I could just go chill or whatever or not. But I think that's why I think we sometimes don't realize our impact because, yeah. you know, we really just, you know what I'm saying? You know, we just really was just somebody, you know, that was like, we was for the average guy. And I always say this with, with, with like us and cash money. And, you know, of course I love my, my, my fellow city brothers, you know what I'm saying? They label, you know, but they were for the guys that wanted to party, pop bottles, run around our females. You know, we was always from what P said, we for the dude that got the cutlass with one speaker and the dude that's, that's yeah. got, that's out there trying to make pamper money. Got just enough to get them pampers and get our CD, yeah. you know, and then we keep him going, the hustle going and, and keep his mind right. You know what I'm saying? And I, and I think when you do it that way, we was the nine to five workers in, in, yeah. in rap. Worked everybody and we constantly worked and we was regular. We didn't hide. You know, we didn't feel like, okay, I'm going to be sitting over here with this rapper who's selling and that rapper was selling. You know, we was out, you know what I'm saying, around regular people. You know what I mean? And I think that's the way we were because we didn't fear our fans, so to say, like most rappers, like, man, I ain't hanging with yeah. this, that, and that. Yeah. So we believed in, you know, if they buy our music and they, you know, they got to be, you know, we got to be able to reach us, you know what I'm saying? And right. I think that's what made us really never look at our impact until we go to shows and yeah. you see people and they're sitting there telling you like, yo, bro, heaven is so close. Dude, I, I didn't want to be in this world, man. But then, yeah. I remember when we went to a show, bro, and I don't know if you remember that dude walked up to you and he had a picture of you. He, he yeah. painted it. He had painted it. He had yeah. you to sign yeah. it. <laughs> and I, I was like, like wow, you know, that was amazing to see that type of reaction. He was like, man, I love you. You impacted me. I want you to please sign this picture. And I was like, man, that was so dope, you know, to it's, even share that it, moment, you know. You know, it, it humbles you, man, because when you really look at it, you know, and I always live by pop. In words where you say only my, you know, when, when all the lights and screams scatter, only my dreams matter. Because when you come into this and, and then tell me if I'm alive, yeah. you know, you, you, you don't dream of money. You, the money be for, man, I won't get my mama straight. I'm going to get my kids straight. Right. True. My girlfriend, everybody to be okay. But I just won't be the best to ever do it. So mm -hmm. we legacy coming in with the money is for, family and you might do a little something for yourself here and there like you know what i want that car whatever but you still deep down inside like i want the world to hear me i want them to know me i want mm -hmm. i won't be the one that they never forget exactly and, Say, that, and dc can you please can you please put the put the the claps on this man we is talking to yeah. the this is the greatest record label of all time right here. Yeah. This yeah, is No definitely. Limit Records. We can we can we clap that up one time? Definitely, that? definitely. Man, definitely. this is crazy. I mean, I, and it's crazy that y'all didn't notice it because y'all were just working. Y'all had your head in your work. I remember yeah. talking to Kale one day. He said the same thing to yeah. me. We was in the hotel. He's like, man, I really didn't, under, you know, mm -hmm. I'm just working. You know what I mean? Yeah, and it's yeah, like, it's crazy to hear all y'all say that, man, because y'all was top of the world. I remember... Uh, I'm about it, you know what I'm saying? I, I, the Pac-Man yeah. reference. I have my mom going to every store trying to buy the, the, you know what I mean? Trying to buy the movie. We couldn't find it, but it was one mom and pop store that had it. It was sold out everywhere. And my mom cussing me out like, boy, we ain't going, just go to one more store. And, you know, like, we don't, I don't need no lunch money. I need the no limit thing, you know what I mean? And, and what's so ironic that I'm finally putting the Pac-Man album out and you on the Pac-Man song. The, <laughs> right, right. The, 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 the lead single. The lead so single. We cheating a little bit. We cheating a little bit. We know, sir. We love, sir. But we got to go back to your That's whole what I was gonna thing. Say. Cheating we got to start bit. from the beginning where I was going to okay. say. We talk right. about life, life insurance. No, we got to go to life, life insurance, insurance for a second because I want to know this. Because yeah. before life insurance, apparently you and Master P was high school boys. Yeah. Yeah. So let's talk about that. Let's talk about the beginning of you entering into No Limit because you were one of the first artists that yeah. were that was signed to No Limit. Yeah. So let's yeah. talk about that. Let's talk about your relationship and uh, also how that happened. Um, you know, long story short, you know, growing up, 
you know, basketball was everything to me. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I dreamed of basketball before music. And, and you know, and it wasn't like some of these rappers you see out here, they'd be at the little all-star games and they, they make a shot and they're like, oh, Nelly could play ball and Quavo could play ball. You know, and I got respect. That's my brothers. You know what I'm saying? But we played for real. You know what I'm saying? And so it was about dreaming of getting the college scholarship. And P was actually the number one point guard in 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 the state of Louisiana. And that was my bro. So his brother Kevin, you know, I used to follow, I used to me and C used to follow P to go to whatever court he'd be at. And P would follow his brother Kevin, God bless the dead. And, you know, so we would always, wherever P was playing at, you know, me and C would follow and be there. And then when C was running around, I would just be wherever P was at playing ball. And so, and then the grammar school I went to, which was like known for basketball, you know, I was going there for like a half scholarship from third grade on, you know, because I was that good. And, you know, whenever I come out of school, P and now his ex-wife, Sonia, you know, that's when they were beginning to date before there was a Romeo or anybody. He would always mm -hmm. be sitting on her steps across the street from my grandma pool, you know, and watching us practice and stuff like that, basketball, and, you know, telling me things I should be doing. So you played basketball, too? So you was a beast at basketball, too? I put it like this. I didn't even play my senior year, and I still had scholarships to D1 what? school. Mm. And I, you know, so y'all was really y'all was gonna be a dream team regardless. Either be, was gonna do music <laughs> or sports. It was up Ms. to y'all. Miss Dean, trust me when I say this. Ain't no rappers. Only maybe a few I can name that I know really had game, like Cameron, Dave East, you know, uh what's the uh light skin kid? I love his I love his music. Oh man, I ought to be ashamed of myself. J. Cole, you know, a few of them had some nice game, right? Cameron can who? Yeah, Cameron. Huh? Cameron, Cameron was a beast too. Yeah. Oh, Cameron, boy, Cameron was a beast. Cameron, <laughs> cool, and That's crazy. he got put out of college in Texas. Cameron was a beast. Okay, you know, and then I'm gonna make you laugh. Baby from Cash Money was a beast. <laughs> no, no, R baby, we played AAU together, play, uh, park ball together. Baby was a point guard. He don't seem like he got the height. He, uh, he, I know he never talked about it. Never. Yeah. No, he had handles. What? Yeah. Telling you, he had handles. Well, T. Vicks was a beast too. I'm gonna say that. <laughs> I don't let go. I don't let go. Play basketball. You know, but but no, we kept, we, we I was, came up with LeBron James. You know, what we saying? was so hey, we, hey hey hey, the king, the king, baby. Yeah, <laughs> I came up in that you era. Know how, we, you know how I feel about the king. Yeah <laughs> but, yeah. So we, let's talk about your first appearance, which was on Soldier Slim, right? Soldier for Life. On Soldier for Life, on Soldier Slim album. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. That was back then, man. But really, my first. Um, and it's funny, man. I, I, I don't. I don't trip about saying it now. You know, before my name was served on, it was C Rock, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go ahead and laugh. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you said we could, bro. You just gave me permission. Yeah. I'm and, like, what? I ain't not what. When yeah, that happened? I did. KL first song he did for me was um a song. Got to get my serve on, and that was the song that P heard. Oh, you know, man. on a cassette, you know, we was, we ended up and I was with KL and my first performance was at a, you know, of course I was on Slim, you know, album. And then uh, we performed one night with Juvenile, Joe mm. Black uh, and Soldier Slim. Mm. And KL just like, you performing tonight. I'm like, what? I never performed in my life. He was like, just, just, I got your back. Just, you know, your lyrics, just roll with me. And so, so how did you and KO get so tight? Well, MC Dort, who is is like an idol of mine, is a legendary MC Dort from New Orleans. You know what I'm saying? MC Dort, I, I'm gonna see who I would. MC Dort was like a Nas. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? And uh him and KL had the group three nine posse. KL them was city legends, you know, uh three nine posse, yeah. you know, in New Orleans. And so when I came home, you know from the university you know i was got put out of school but put out of college for selling weed mm -hmm. so lost my scholarship then i ended up in the military so i wouldn't have to do no years in jail then i got put out the military three days before i got out and they sent me to that university in levensworth kansas you mm -hmm. know what i'm talking about right the mm -hmm. university mm -hmm. you know what the yeah. university 
Talking yeah, about. I know yeah. what you're talking about. <laughs> so, and once I came home, you know, my brother was like, you know, 